The test is a, is a CT scan. It's like an x-ray, but what it is, it's a uh, more intense x-ray. There's a little more radiation involved. Uh, we, don't, we don't use dye in order to get, just get the calcium score, but we take serial pictures, x-ray pictures of the heart, and then put all those little, little pictures together, all the, you know, by way of computer, and we can get a 3D image of the heart. And by looking at that, uh, we can, you, can, you can see calcium pretty easily on a CT. What the calcium score tells you is how much calcium is on the arteries leading to the heart. So the more the calcification of those arteries, the higher the chance of having plaque buildup. Mm -hmm. With my background being cardiology and taking care of these kind of issues for the last 30 years, I have a pretty good understanding of what plaque is all about and knowing what the calcium score and helps, helps me decide you know, whether this person is at higher risk of having a cardiac event. I've just gotten certified in May, so that would give me the opportunity to get, to be able to read them. You know, I've ordered them for years, just getting to the point now that you know, with ADC gearing up their CT abilities, especially heart, we've decided to expand cardiology and, and get into that realm because there is some benefit in, in doing CT scores. The particular scan that we have is called a 128-bit scanner. It shows images a little clearer than the average scanner around town. In someone that has risk factors for coronary disease, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, family history, high cholesterol, uh, the kinds of, those kinds of things. In that population of patients, what you use a calcium score for is to find out what their risk of having a cardiac event is within the next few years.